Not everybody says I'm poor. You know, you don't want people to know that. You don't think about that here in Canada because you don't think about child poverty or child labor. You think that, oh, that's Africa, that's Chile, that's Argentina, that's not here in Canada. But it's here in Canada too. And here in Toronto, you just don't know about it. I remember having a pair of purple pants and they were the same pants I wore to school every day. And every kid will make fun of me. But I, what could I do? What could I do? I didn't know how to speak English. I didn't know how to defend myself. And I wasn't about to ask my mother for another pair of pants. It's an everyday thing. And I've been living it for more than 10 years. And I feel that I lost 10 years of my life. I lost it by taking care of my family, by you know, going to work with my mother, cleaning bathrooms. What did you, th you know, think poverty is? You know, a 12 year old going to clean somebody else's bathroom because she needs to make at least $10 to buy herself bus tickets to go to school. Poor people are not poor because they want to be poor. It's because the system keeps us poor. We work hard, everybody here works hard. So if you get to the point where you explode because you're working so hard, it's a routine and a routine and a routine, when you just break down, and obviously you're gonna find someone begging for food or begging for money because you're gonna find that because they have broken down, the system has broken you down so hard.